this is Debbie with Food Prepping Channel and today I'm going to make a dish that um, I'm just kind of putting together myself. I've got um, two and a half pounds of ground chuck in this frying pan. I've got um, half a yellow pepper, half an orange pepper, and two small onions cut up in this and I'm going to use those um, Simply Potatoes. They've been advertising them on TV, so I got some, and I've got the hash brown type, and I'm going to make a casserole with those, and I'm going to put a bunch of different stuff in it. So I'm going to let this cook first, and then I'll bring you back when I get to the next stage. Okay, I'm back. All right, so my ground chuck and my peppers and my onions have cooked, and they're still hot, um, but I'm going to go on and mix this together and hope it'll be okay. I've got one cup of water that I'm going to put in here. I've got a can. Let me get my spoon. I have one can of cream of celery soup that I'm going to put in here. One can cream of mushroom soup that I'm going to put in here. And then I have one can of great value pieces, pieces and stems mushrooms. And after I drained them, look. This is just a little, oh my gosh, I just dropped them. Thank God they didn't spill. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right. All right, so one can of the great value pieces and stems mushrooms. They didn't have any in them after we drained the water. All right. Now I'm going to mix all this up together. going to be so good. All right. And then I've got a, these are frozen peas. I haven't thawed them out yet, but they'll thaw out. I'm going to put, well, let me, nothing seems to be going right today. Drop a can of mushrooms. Thank God they didn't spill. Alright. Then here's the bag of peas. I'm going to go in and put the whole bag in because it's... Alright. This will definitely cool this hamburger up. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let these peas thaw out a little bit and stir the rest of this stuff up and get everything else together and I will bring you back. I thought the peas would have thawed out by now but they haven't. So I'll bring you back. Okay. Alright, the peas have all thawed out and now I've got these Simply Potatoes, the shredded hash browns, I'm going to put these in here, the whole bag. And mix this all up. And we're going to have a hash brown casserole. I've got my oven set preheating to 425. All right, and I have the mild cheddar cheese, and I'm going to put some of that in here. All right. 
I'm not even measuring because it's so much I'm just pouring it in. Alright, probably a cup and a half. And I'm just going to mix this all up together and put it in the, my pan over here. And I'm going to cook this for about, everything's cooked in it but the hash browns. And it says they take about 45 minutes in a casserole. So I'm going to cook this for 30 minutes with just the cheese in it. And then I'm going to take this out and I'll bring you back and show you after 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to put panko breadcrumbs on the top of it and have it a little crispy to give some texture to it because everything in here is going to be kind of soft so um let me get this in the pan and i'll bring you right back okay i'm back all right it's in the casserole or the bacon dish or whatever and i have not put any salt or pepper on it yet so I'm just going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on it. I didn't even check to see how much sodium was in the potatoes. I'm just doing a very little bit here in between my fingers. All right. Let me get the pepper. Now the pepper I can do a lot of. <laughs> I love my pepper. Alright, and I'm not going to cover this. I'm going to cook it just like it is, just like this. And like I said, in 30 minutes, I'll take it out and um, put some panko breadcrumbs on it, and I'll bring you back then. Okay, here it is. It's been in the oven for 30 minutes. And I'm just going to pour some panko breadcrumbs all on here. Pull, pull it out a little bit. Now I'm going to put it back in there and leave it in for 15 or 20 more minutes and I'll bring you back. Okay, here's the finished dish. I'm going to taste it and see what it tastes like. It cooked for about 55 minutes, almost an hour. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is really good. Oh my gosh. Just to think of something to put together. It's really good. I like it. Alright, if you like this video... Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and below in the description box will be the ingredients for this, and also um, there'll be links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my um, Zacon Farm Fresh Foods, so if, like I said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you later. You have a good day. Bye.